One morning, Preston had arrived at the central station. He was surprised to see Bruno waiting there. What's up, Bruno? You should have left by now. Well, a lady was running up to me just as I was about to leave and tried to get on board. I couldn't believe it. It was only three minutes until the next tram. Uh, but now my doors are jammed and I'm waiting for the line to be cleared so I can get to Sam's workshop. Oh. I am sorry to hear that, Bruno. I hope Sam can mend your doors for you. Yeah, so do I. Just then Robert arrived. He was a maintenance tram who lived at Sam's workshop and a true friend of Mr. Wells's trams. Line's all clear for you, Bruno. Thanks, Robert. So Bruno left the station. Later that day, he was rolling sadly along the line. Eric was on the opposite track. Something wrong. You look worried. I've just seen Sam at his workshop. I have to wait till Thursday now for a special engineer to come and look at these faulty doors of mine. Hey, hello, what is this? We stop for chitter chatter, do we? <laughs> uh, no, no, Lambert, certainly not. Never. No. You know something? They will scrap trams that do not work. Not like us lorries. Why? Because we work very hard. Always. <laughs> Prove it. You see this package I take to chocolate factory? It's my 11th package today. How many runs on your line do you make? That's my 8th one. Ha! There you go then! Ha ha ha! Southbound that is. That's my 16th journey overall. Trams are better than lorries and you know it, Lambert. We are faster, stronger, and we provide a service to our city by helping millions of people get around every day. But without the supplies I deliver, we would not have the many things that people buy in the shops. Look, know what you should be able to do? Base, the one who comes at same distance and back again at the same time, is the winner. Actually... This is good idea! So, Tram, we race on Thursday, yes? At 10 a.m.? 10 a.m.? Oh, sorry, I can't. I have an appointment with an engineer to sort out this... So, you double up as lazy and chicken! Well, no, but, uh... Oh, fine, I'll, I'll do it! I accept. Okay, Thursday is big day, and bye-bye. Don't worry, Bruno. You'll be fine. Really? Yeah, you're gonna show that lorry who's boss in Fuzzy, eh? <laughs> you should have beaten my father. Oh. Oh, yeah, sure. So, on Thursday morning, a racetrack had been set up for Bruno and Lambert. Everyone waited at the depot for Lambert. Are you sure this is a good idea, sir? Of course I'm sure. Publicity is going to be huge. There's people gathered all over the city to see them racing. Can't let them down now, can we? Oh, well, Lambert's not here. Oh, what a shame. I guess I'll have to call the whole race off. <laughs> oh, never mind. Um, yeah. Uh, back to our normal jobs, everyone. <laughs> yeah. Ugh, it's only 9.59, Bruno. Ready to race, Tram? Lambert, I... 
was built ready. <laughs> Soon, Lambert and Bruno were at the starting line. Your routes will take you around different parts of the city, but you will turn around at the exact same place. Your route will be exactly the same distance. Oh, by the way, you will be watched by security cameras to make sure you don't cheat. So without any further ado, it's one for the money, two for the money, three for even more money, and four, two, go! Come on, Jimmy, you can do it. This will all end in tears. Excuse me, are you Sam? Uh, where's this tram you want me to fix? I ain't got long, you know. Bruno raced from Glens Park Station to enormous cheers. He roared through Central and shot like a dart past the stadium. No, I can't stop. I can't let everyone down now. I must keep going. I need to go on. Lambert sneered as he thundered down the roads. I saw the trap who is boss. Hola, senor Lambert! What? What are you doing? I'm racing here! We rearranged the cones for ya, just like you told us to. <laughs> You're sure to win now. <laughs> you what? Look, it gives security cameras all over the city. Call the cheating off, now! But, uh, senor, you told us to. Yes, I know what I said, but... Oh, come on, boss. Potterlin is much quicker. You get nowhere with telling it through all the time, Lambert. Hmm. Meanwhile, Bruno was racing past Bertram's bakery. He was very worried. Yeah, yeah you're gonna do it, mate! You're gonna do it, Bruno! What? Oh, it's no use. I don't think I can do this. Oh, oh I feel very funny. And then suddenly, one of Bruno's doors slipped off. Oh! Yeah, that's the way, laddie. Lambert will never know what's hit him. Oh my! Oh no! Somebody help me! By one, all of Bruno's doors broke off. Somebody help me! Haha! <laughs> well done, Bruno. You made it in a time of 28 minutes and 23 seconds. Now get turning around and... Good grief, Bruno. You need to get to the repair yard right now. But that's all the way back on the other side of the city. It can't possibly be safe for me to travel so far like this. You're right, but don't worry. I'll shunt you back. I is that allowed in a race? Race or no race, I'm going to help you. Oh, thank you, Robert. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, don't mention it. Well, I guess I'd better radio Sam and let him know you're alright. So Robert shunted Bruno all the way back to Sam's workshop. Bruno thought he looked silly, but to his surprise, the crowds were cheering. Hey everyone, look at that! That's real friendship, that is! That's real dedication! Hooray for Robert and Bruno! Hooray! Hooray! Bruno smiled. Suddenly he could hear laughing. Don't worry, I don't think it's you they're laughing at. A police car was towing Lambert along the road, who had bashed headlights and mud all over his front. The taxi trio were following close behind. Apparently, it was called Potter Lane for a reason. Well, since Lambert is disqualified, I'm proud to declare that our winner by default is... Bruno! Hooray! 
I think we have two winners here today. The other one is Robert. He helped Bruno all the way here, and I believe that is truly worth a mention and a reward. Quite right, Sam. Thank you. Bruno, the engineer says you still have time to fix your doors. Oh, thank you, sir. And I think Robert here, he really deserves a new coat of paint, don't you think, sir? <gasps> I've always wanted a fresh new coat of paint. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Hang on. Eric, Albert and Mr. Wells, you three encouraged Bruno to race and not see the engineer first. We did? Oh, yeah. For Robert and Bruno, however, life on the tramway couldn't have been 